I think the Lakers gave up a lot because what you didn't also include were, were the pick swaps in 2023 and 2025. Mm-hmm. So, there, look, they gave up a lot, but they now currently on their roster, the Los Angeles Lakers have two of the best five, seven, however you want to rank them, regardless, two top seven players on their roster. Who else has that? No one. No one. So they gave up a lot, but what did we talk about? It's so funny how we quickly change our our narratives, Jenks. After the, the, the Raptors won on Thursday, you and I were in agreement saying, look, if Kawhi leaves in free agency, mm-hmm. you do that trade again sure. in a heartbeat. The goal is to win championships. And the Los Angeles Lakers with Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, LeBron James, Kyle Kuzma, the number four overall pick, Mm -hmm. were not going to win a championship. Oh, not even. They weren't going to win games. And now you've got Anthony Davis. They've got to figure things out. They've got about $23 to $27 million to work with. So they've, they've got some challenges ahead of how to fill out that roster. But I think both teams benefited extremely well from this and you know what could happen down the road is you know these unprotected picks in 2024 and the swaps in 23 and 25 janks could those be lottery picks could they be potentially number one overall picks maybe if you look at the numbers right now lakers the favorites at plus 350 the bucks second favorite at plus 500 raptors at plus 750 the warriors at plus 800 but what's amazing to me if you want to look at the flip side here is that the pelicans And it's important to remember, regardless of what you think about Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram and Josh Hart, and I think that's a great haul, right? These are great defenders, tons of potential there. But even if you don't like those guys, hypothetically, the Pelicans have so many assets now. They can do so many things with those players, with those draft picks, with the number four pick coming up, which, and we can talk about this later, I happen to think they're going to trade, just my gut feeling. But regardless, and they're getting Zion, oh, by the way. yeah, So... I, if you're the Lakers, like you said, you're thrilled. You're immediately in contention for an NBA title now. Whether or not you believe that or not is a, is a different story. But certainly, they're contenders now, oh, no yeah. question about it. And if you're the Pelicans, you have to feel like as long as they're smart here and they make the right moves, man, they could build a juggernaut down there. The argument that a lot of people have, have put out there is were the Lakers bidding against themselves? And they might have been. Uh, you know, you look at the Boston Celtics. They have Jason Tatum and... And from all accounts, because of the uncertainty and the likelihood that Kyrie Irving leaves Mm -hmm. Jenks, that they weren't really in on this. The Knicks had dropped off because of Kevin Durant's Mm -hmm. injury. So there weren't a ton of teams going hard after uh, this, this, this trade in Anthony Davis. But look, the Lakers have been burned before. Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, they waited and said, oh, well, maybe we'll get him next year. Yeah. LeBron James will be 35 in December. LeBron James is one of the greatest basketball players sure. ever. Continues to be productive, but there's no doubt the mileage is 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 going up. So can you honestly sit back and say, yeah, Anthony Davis is going to be a, a free agent next year, so why don't we just wait? You don't have the time. You don't have the time. 